It's the 2nd of January. That is day two of the January transfer window. Welcome back to another video. Now, the January transfer window opened yesterday on the 1st of January 2020. This is day two. Uh, Tottenham haven't signed anyone yet and we haven't sold anyone yet. Um, let's face it, we do have three players out of contract at the end of this season. Vertonghen, Eriksson and Tanganga. Let me know in the comments section below whether you think that any one of those three will go in this January transfer window. Both Jan Vertonghen and Christian Eriksen both have less than six months left of their contract at Tottenham. Both of them expire on the 30th of June 2020. Both of them now are available to negotiate pre-contract agreements with non-English sides. A bit of news for one of the Tottenham youngsters, Jack Rolls, a midfielder. Um, he's currently on loan at Cambridge United. Now, that loan spell has now been extended um, at the League Two side until the end of this season. One report out today is about West Brom's 19-year-old fullback, Nathan Ferguson. Uh, according to reports, um, and this one is by the Sun newspaper, um, I have seen many reports about Nathan Ferguson before and Tottenham being linked with him. Um, there are a number of other clubs being linked with him as well, including West Ham and Crystal Palace. Um, but he can play either side of the defence, um, which, of course... Uh, would be a great thing for us because we could certainly do with some defenders. Um, but um, it just depends on whether West Brom will let him go and whether Tottenham will get this deal done in January. Um, but this is a player that we have been linked with before. Um, I know uh, we were linked with Ryan Sessegnon for some time before that deal actually went through. Um, but let me know in the comments section below, um, have you seen Nathan Ferguson play? If so, what are your thoughts? And do you think this would be a good signing for Tottenham? Another report out today is about another right back, and that is Max Ahrens from Norwich City. Apparently, Norwich City are putting a price tag on Max Ahrens of £45 million. So if Tottenham want to sign Max Ahrens, it will cost them a whopping £45 million. Now, um, we could do with a right back. Sir Jorier, uh, Carl Walker-Peters and Juan Foyth um, can all play out right back, um, but... We do need that position improved. That is probably an understatement. We have struggled there ever since Kieran Trippier left. Um, but Max Ahrens is 19 years old. As I said, plays for Norwich City. Um, he was the Football League's Player of the Year um, last season in the Championship. Um, and he only made his debut for Norwich City in September 2018. And he came through the, uh, the club's academy. It has been reported by BBC Sport that Tottenham have recalled winger Jack Clark from a loan spell at Leeds, as well as bringing back Cameron Carter-Vickers back from Stoke City. Now, Jack Clark, only 19 years old, has played three games for Leeds this season, who rejoined on loan after moving to Spurs in May for an initial fee of around £10 million. He made just one championship appearance and was not in the squad for the last couple of games. Cameron Carter-Vickers, 22 years old on uh, on New Year's Eve, played 15 games for Stoke City, uh, so he was very well used there. Um, forward Keziah Sterling will also return early from Doncaster Rovers, as he was recalled as well. Um, all of them have returned to the club today, the 2nd of January. The next one, could it be a dream or could this turn into reality? Gareth Bale possibly coming back to Tottenham. Now, various uh, publications in Spain have reported that Christian Eriksen will go to Real Madrid and Gareth Bale would come to Tottenham and plus Tottenham would have to pay around 25 to £26 million pounds, um, and Christian Eriksen. And I tell you what, if that deal was to come off, I would be absolutely delighted because that would be some really good business. Now, Gareth Bale um, was talking about Jose Mourinho's arrival at Tottenham uh, when uh, he was appointed head coach at Tottenham and said, having Mourinho there is an amazing statement from the club. I think he's a serial winner. 
Tottenham want to win trophies and I don't think there's a better partnership than Mourinho and Tottenham together to try and win some trophies. One player that Tottenham are being heavily linked with this January transfer window, and that is Bukhari Sumora. He is a holding midfielder, plays for Lille in the French League. He is 20 years old. He is being linked with the likes of Manchester City, Napoli, Real Madrid and Valencia. And uh, even Wolves put in a bid for him back in the summer uh, for £34 million, which was rejected. Um, this would be a fantastic signing. He seems a fantastic player. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. If we signed a player like this, what do you think of that? Another report out today, this time from 90 Min. Um, they are stating that Tottenham are currently in talks with Flamengo star Gerson, um, the Brazilian midfielder, and this could be Jose Mourinho's first signing as Tottenham boss. Um, they are stating that discussions are already underway between the Premier League and the Brazilian club, and uh, Tottenham want to get the deal sorted as soon as the Janu January transfer window opens. Well, we are now on day two. Nothing's happened. Watch this space. Do you know anything about Gerson? Have you seen in play? If so, let me know in the comments section below. What are your thoughts? Another report out today all about Victor Wanyama. He could be heading out the door um, of Tottenham um, for either West Ham or Norwich City. Both clubs are very interested in signing the midfielder. Um, I know last summer Victor Wanyama was very, very close for signing for uh, Belgium club, Club Bruges. It didn't happen for whatever reason. Um, this is one player that I do think that Tottenham do need to offload this January transfer window. Do you agree? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Another report out today, this time from the Daily Telegraph. They are stating that both Napoli and Ajax are interested in signing Jan Vertonghen. As I said at the start of the video, Jan Vertonghen, uh, his contract expires at Tottenham on the 30th of June uh, 2020. So he can start to negotiate a deal with a foreign club. Now, we bought him seven years ago for £12 million from Ajax. Um, let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. Do you see this deal happening? Or do you think that Tottenham will actually um, offer Jan Vertonghen the contract that he wants to keep him at the club? Another player that Tottenham are being linked with, and that is Portuguese right back who plays for Leicester City, Ricardo Pereira. Manchester United and Tottenham are both interested in Pereira, uh, valued at around £30 million. Now, Leicester City bought Pereira back in 2018 for £21 million. He won uh, the Leicester City Player of the Season in his first season at the club. Uh, but the only downfall to this is uh, Brendan Rodgers, the Leicester City manager, said there will be nobody leaving in January categorically. So it looks very, very unlikely that this will happen. Another report, this time from the Daily Express. They are stating that Tottenham um, were looking to land QPR midfielder and playmaker Abiri Eze. Um, has played very, very well in the championship for Queen's Park Rangers so far this season, scoring nine goals in 25 matches and uh, getting four assists. He is only 21 year, uh, years old. Um, he is apparently one of the best players outside of the Premier League right now, but Tottenham could be put off by the £20 million price tag that Queen's Park Rangers have put on his head. Various reports were published this afternoon by some Italian newspapers and they are stating that Inter Milan are currently talking with Christian Eriksen um, about signing him at this January transfer window. They are also stating that Tottenham are willing to do business with Inter Milan this January transfer window uh, and accept around £17 million for Christian Eriksen. watching this short update on the January transfer window day two let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section below do you think that Tottenham will spend money in this January transfer window do you believe that any players uh, will leave us in the January transfer window um, now Jose Mourinho only said in the press conference yesterday after the Southampton game um, that he needs to work with the players. It is not a question of bringing new players in. He needs to work with all of the players that he has got. 
Um, and now we we know uh, from the news earlier that Harry Kane will be out between six and eight weeks with an injury. Um, do you think that Jose Mourinho will sign a striker? Um, let me know all of your thoughts in the comments section below, including names who you would like um, to see at Tottenham and players that currently play for us that you want to see out the door. See you tomorrow. Come on, you Spurs.